almost like that. Um, yeah, look, I, I think everyone's got a lot of questions about what's happened over the last 24, 48 hours, and I think I'll address that first um, before I talk about how that experience was, because it's still all sinking in. But uh, look, from a, from a club perspective, from a team's perspective, um, what's happened has happened. Um, all I want to talk about is, is the playing group. Um, that's the staff's concern and, and my concern is, is for, for Sobes and, and the rest of the group is, is their welfare and well-being. Like the distractions are frustrating. There's no doubt about that for the group. Um, they've been through a lot over the course of, of the season, um, over the course of the last couple of years, like going back to 2021, when I first became involved in this thing uh, with the COVID season and delays last season, all this and that. So the, the, the group, the playing group has been through a lot um, the club has made some decisions over the over the past couple of weeks um, that that the club is entitled to make. Um, what we need to do moving forward is is compete and play for each other, like this group did tonight. Um, we need to find some consistency in terms of what we do off the court as an organisation. Um, there'll be a lot of questions about what's happened. Um, Right now, they're questions for our CEO and the ownership group. Uh, they're managing the situation that, as, as it keeps unfolding. Um, and from what I understand, there's things in process. Um, so I don't know when those things are going to come to a, a close um, and a decision is going to be made. Like I said, that's a question for our CEO. Uh, so in terms of that, my focus is now on the playing group. And, and getting this group ready to compete in Adelaide on Saturday night against a really good basketball team, very talented basketball team, and my concern is for their for their welfare and their well-being. Like what this guy next to me, the discussions and the phone calls. I I know what my phone's done over the last 24 hours. I can't imagine what this guy's been through, what Bangers has been through, Jace, all these guys. So we need to make sure that they're okay. Um, and that they're ready in the right mindset to compete on Saturday. Like that's our primary concern right now. Whatever happens peripheral to that is going to happen. And the club will make their own decisions on that. We just need to come together and compete as a group. And I'm, I'm bloody proud of how these guys play tonight for each other. And I think for me, that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. So if there is questions about it, unless there's questions about the game tonight and how this guy played and how we played as a group, Right, that's the focus right now. So that's where we're at. And now this is about a game of basketball that we just lost in Cairns and we're four and four and ten and we've got fourteen games left in the season. So that's it. For me, to answer the question originally, um, look, I'm proud of the group. Like I said, uh, I think they responded to the challenge that was put in front of them. Uh, we didn't have a great preparation, let's be honest. Uh, their effort and intent, I can't question. I, I think they played their backsides off all night. They played for each other, um, they competed for each other, and they did all the right things. You know, we go 8 of 15 from the line and 8 of 27 from the three. Like, I don't think this team does that again too many times this season. So, look, some shots didn't go our way. Um, you know, we, we had some mental errors uh, down the stretch and at certain points in the game that, that hurt us in terms of shot selection and, and breakdowns. Like, Bull has three threes in the first quarter, I think, or the first half. You know, that's what the guy does. He's a really good shooter. And we broke down. DJ Hogue walks into a three in transition. Like, so those little things that take their toll over the course of the game, we've got to be better at. And then on the back end of that, you know, certain things that we talked about in game planning, um, sometimes it just broke out of stuff. We're, we're still a, a, a new group. We haven't been whole yet. Uh, we bring in a new import this week, Andrew White. You know, he gives us 18 minutes. He got off the flight at 2 p.m. Monday. Guy hasn't practiced yet. Like. Proud of, the, proud of what he did. 
Uh, Cody Statman, first game back in his hometown, great. You know, we've, we've got good pieces. Um, we've got to find our way offensively, there's no doubt about that. Um, but in saying that, the last four games previous to this, uh, we've been pretty good offensively. Uh, it was the defensive floor, the defensive end of the floor where we weren't as connected. But tonight, uh, the big fella really helped, like Bainsey's presence out there and his voice. You know, he, he's, a, he's a hell of a basketball player and he can really help us when he's locked in like that. I think 29 minutes is the most he's played all year. So proud of what he gave us in, in coming back from that back injury. And, you know, um, proud of what Sobes gave us. Like, yeah, Sobes didn't shoot the ball well, but the six boards, seven assists, five steals, like, far out. After what we've been through, like, un unreal. So that's my experience. <laughs> Um, you might have set a new record for the longest ever first answer, but I think you handled it, handled it well off the top. So, one guy I wanted to get your thoughts on was Gak. As a fellow big man, I mean, you've worked very closely with him all season. How happy are you with his progress? And he's now strung probably four or five really impressive games together. Yeah, he has. Um, super proud of G. And look, I probably didn't play him enough tonight. Like 19 minutes, he has 10 points, 11 boards. Like, I've got to find some more minutes for, for G. Um, it, it's. He's, he's dug himself out of a hole. Um, you, you know, early in the season, he had an opportunity to start and, you know, things didn't quite go his way. He, he dug in, he, he really did the individual work. He did some work on his body, did some work on his mind and he's really matured. So I'm, I'm so happy for, for G and the way he's playing. And um, I think the group's starting to really trust him as well. Like they feel good with him on the floor. Like his length around the rim is, is like, wow. Like, you know, the, some of the stuff he does at practice and you're just like, my goodness. Um, so he's an exciting talent. Um, I'm glad he's with us and, and proud of what he's doing. And there's, there's so much growth. There's so much more growth for him. So hopefully the next 14 games, we're going we're gonna to see more of, of what G can offer in this league. So feel free to answer this however you like, but what did you make of the game tonight and what have you made of what's happening around your, your club in the last, last few days? Um, I mean, just the boys just dug in. Uh, there was a couple of times with, like you said, how the week's been that we could have just let it all go and just said whatever. But um, I think it's a testament to who is in that locker room and um, the way that we responded. We didn't just level it out when we went down in those periods. We actually got better from it. So that's a big sign for us uh, moving forward and just it, it's a feel-good situation, even though it's a, it's not the um, outcome we wanted. Um, just to be able to sit there next to the people in the locker room and just look to the person next to you and say, hey, like you did everything you could um, during the situation and, and stuck with it, even though I shot, I shot the ball horribly. Um, and the ball was in my hands a lot of the time to make those decisions. So hopefully, like moving forward, I'll be a lot better at that. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't fault what the group's done um, considering what we've been through the last, not even just 24 hours, but just changes in the last two weeks. Um, but yeah, we, we got a good group. What are your thoughts on heading back to Adelaide now for, for Saturday night? And I guess your first chance to battle against Drew since he's headed back there as well. Yeah, that'll be fun. We'll see, uh, see how that goes, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be good to get down to Adelaide with our schedule right now. Um, it's good to just string out some games, uh, especially after a loss tonight. We've got to uh, turn it straight to Adelaide now and focus on that, and we can't dwell on this too much. We'll cut up the film and, and watch it and see where we can be better and, and where we were good and, and use the game plan for Saturday night to try and come away with that win uh, down in Adelaide. Last time for me, Greg, uh, Andrew White showed good signs, obviously, and given his preparation, you probably couldn't expect a lot from him, but... 18 minutes, knocked down three threes, and he's only going to get better from here, you would imagine. Yeah, look, I mean, he's a 29-year-old he's a mature basketball player. Like, he's been around the world, he's played in the NBA, he's played in Turkey. Like, guy knows how to play. Like, he, he's, a, he's a good size in terms of, like, you know, 6'7", long, good athlete. And uh, just his maturity, I think, is going to help us as well. Like, um, he just really knows how to play. Like, this is the first time we saw him tonight in a live situation. So we, we didn't practice yesterday with everything that was going on. We had a shoot around this morning. Um, you know, there was some conjecture about whether he would even play tonight. Um, you know, he, I think what he can bring to this group is really positive moving forward. You know, we, we get Tanner back hopefully soon. We get Big Ty back, you know, and, and we're a whole group. And, you know, with him and Tanner, 
on the wings, like with Sobes, Jace, uh, TJ obviously didn't play tonight as well. So, you know, once once we're whole, um, and hopefully that's going to be prior to Christmas or, or maybe shortly after, um, you know, I, I think what Andrew can bring and complement what we have is, is really exciting. I just want to touch on that. After coming into a situation that was going on during the week and he just, the, the, like Greg said, the level-headed he is, it's not easy to just come into this league and do that just off the back of anything, um, straight off the fly into a situation that probably didn't know what he was getting into. And then to be able to show what he could do tonight, I, like credit to him, that's huge. Like it's not easy at all. Yeah, thanks very much, guys.